I can't imagine not having my mom around. And she's, she's cool. We're friends. Uh, you know, it's like, there are a lot of things that I can't do without her. Like, the only reason that I'm in band now is because she was in band before and that was like a really big impact on me. Is that it's like, oh, I want to be like this person. It's like, oh, your parents are your heroes. It's very stereotypical. It's like a cliche, but it's like, it's, it's a cliche for a reason. It's like, you know, um, where would you be without these people? I say I'm not a typical survivor because I don't have a family history of heart problems. Um, I don't really have a, a family history of stroke, especially at the age of 28. Um, when my daughter was born, three days afterwards, I collapsed. And it's still a little hard. <laughs> okay. um, I, I basically told my husband, hey, I don't feel right. Um, I had, was supposed to be at home. Uh, they had already discharged me, but my daughter had jaundice, so they checked me back in. And um, that night, you know, I said, hey, I don't, I don't feel right. And apparently I was going through full cardiopulmonary failure. So they called the code um, and they resuscitated me um, for 58 minutes. So lots of CPR, three shocks later, and they got my heart rate back. Um, they didn't think I was going to survive. They basically said, well, it'll probably be a vegetable at this point. Um, there's stubbornness that runs deep. <laughs> so so um, I, you know, they, they were saying we, I wouldn't wake up. I woke up. I was in a medically induced coma for, for uh, some time. And then when they removed that, um, I did wake up. And I had no memory of anything that had happened. It was going for so long, they were kind of, everybody just had this um, look on their face was, it wasn't going to turn out well. And, um, and I just I just kind of just yelled over to the crowd, not to any specific person. I, they were doing their thing and just, I told them, she's strong, just keep on going. Uh, but they did get a pulse after 58 minutes. You know, they barely got a pulse. Uh, just kind of setting expectations. I could kind of read between the lines on don't expect too much. It's going to be a long recovery. There's a, there's a lot you're going to have to do. And I was kind of um, at that moment making my peace with, um, you know, bringing up my daughter on my own and taking care of my wife who would probably most likely be in a coma for uh, a very long time. At that very moment she opened her eyes and I was like, uh, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, and the neurologist couldn't believe it. It was just a miracle. I'm really appreciative and glad for the medical system we have, the doctors, the nurses, uh, the assistants, and uh, without all of that happening, um, you know, she wouldn't be here. Um, my life would be uh, drastically different. Um, it's it's about you know really putting up a fight. Um, there are things that you can't ignore and you know there are things that are important that you can't just like put to the side and say I'm gonna do later and it's about like you know what it's gonna be hard but if it wasn't and, and she says this like so many times if it was easy everybody would be doing it I really encourage people to join the heart walk to raise awareness for the efforts of the American Heart Association that they put forth for everybody it, we think about survivors, we think about you know, people with heart disease, people who have suffered strokes, but I think for me, it happened to somebody who that isn't part of my history. It's not part of, I, I never thought that I would need to use those resources, but having them there has been amazing. So I, I want people to know that the AHA is there. I want them to know these resources are there so that um, they're in their back pocket, just in case, because you never know.